stole the peacock's feathers. Someone's head at the octopus. Someone unstriped the zebra. When there's a strange crime in the zoo, and you're looking for a clue, you'll always find him right on track. Sherlock Yak. Sherlock Yak. With Hermione right by his side. The bad guys just can't hide. If you get lost, he'll get you back. Sherlock Yak. All the dreams and all the dough. He's and mean, and he's no fool. And he's way double cool. He won't stand for no yakety yak. Sherlock Yak. I'm on the go. Will you find out before Sherlock? Who knocked out the Howler Monkey? <laughs> Hello, Hermione. I didn't hear you come in. Of course, with all that racket, I went through the kitchen. What racket? I have to tell you something. When you play the bagpipes, it's... Marvelous? Really bad. By really bad, you mean marvelous? No, I mean atrocious. Really? But the sound is quite charming. <laughs> what are you talking about, Hermione? When I play, it helps me to focus. You might learn to focus while playing something else. And abandon my bagpipes? Happy birthday, young disciple. Wow. Hmm. Hmm? A backpack. No, they are bagpipes. Right, that's great. I have chosen this instrument for you. Learn to play it and may its soft melody rock you gently through life. Thank you, venerable master. I can't do that to my master ball of purity. It'd be like betraying him. He doesn't have to know, but my ears will be eternally grateful. Hmm. I can't promise you anything, but if it'll make you happy, I can try to change instruments. That's very kind, Sherlock. Hmm? This is Sherlock Yak. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> By all the dreams and all the toes, I'm on the go. That was Dr. Beaky. The Howler Monkey has a problem. Oh, the daisies I pick are lovely. They make me think of little cute babies. And I think of my love for you, and I swear I'll love you forever. What's the problem? The Howler Monkey is singing very nicely. That is exactly the problem. He usually howls. Oh! He has a brain concussion with an extradural hematome with post-traumatic shock. In other words, he's got a big bump on his head and he's lost his mind. Hmm. You mean that bump? Yes. He had it when we found him in the musician's enclosure at the bottom of his tree, humming a love song. Hmm, he probably howled so much that he fell off his branch and the shock turned him into a crooner. Uh, I'm not so sure. Did you find anything unusual on the victim, Doctor? Yes, this splinter here. It was stuck on his bump. Hmm, very interesting. He probably hit a branch on the way down and got the splinter. Great deduction, Hermione, but that's impossible. This tree is not made of wood, it's concrete, so no splinters. Hmm, well, maybe somebody hit him with a wooden object so as to shut him up. That's right. The question is, what object did they use? Hey! Oh, a guitar! Actually, it's a ukulele. Could it be what he was hit with? It's made of the same kind of wood found on the monkey's bump. Hmm. Good going, Hermione. Hmm. Now all we need to find is who used it. There are three other musicians in this enclosure. The boa, the koala, and the beaver. 
Yes, I know the howler monkey was bumped on his head. It's actually good news. He was getting on everyone's nerves with his hard rocks. The bad news is you're one of the suspects. You were in the enclosure when he was knocked on the head with a banjo. A ukulele. A banjo is bigger. A mandolin? A uh, mandolin is different. It looks more like a lute. A flute? No, a lute. Ah! You're making my migraine worse. I couldn't have knocked out the monkey with a ukulele. You see, I'm a pianist. Hey, that's true. As a matter of fact, how do you manage to play? <gasps> <laughs> that? It's Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Well, gee, I can see why you have a migraine. All right. Are you through with your questions? Not just yet. Sherlock, this could be a good opportunity for you to try the piano. Good idea, Hermione. For the investigation? No, it's personal. I don't think he's right for the piano. I think you're right. But you know, the same could be said about you, dear Boa. It all depends how you use your head. Hermione! Mm -hmm. We've wasted enough time. Let's go see the koala. A howler monkey? Knocked on the head? Correct. Such a talented musician. This is upsetting. But you don't have the same musical tastes, I believe. That's true. I'm a classical musician. But he likes hard rock. You two shouldn't get along. What are you suggesting? That I knocked him on the head? I didn't say that, but it's possible. Were you in the enclosure when it happened? That's right, mate. But I didn't hit him, and especially not with a ukulele. As you can see, I much prefer wind instruments. Hmm. I see. Uh, speaking of instruments, what's that big trumpet there? A helicon. Oh, look, Sherlock. It looks positively darling. <gasps> <laughs> I miss my bagpipes. Don't you worry now, Sherlock. There are over 3,000 musical instruments. You just have to find the right one. It'll take me 15 years to try them all. I'd rather stop looking right away. Now my life will be dull and devoid of music. Out of the question. I have an idea to help you find the ideal instrument. Really? Yes, a questionnaire. It's the best way. Very well. In the meantime, come on. We have to question the beaver. The howling monkey's been bothering everybody since he came to the enclosure. It was impossible to rehearse any guitar with all that noise he made. You mean rehearsing a guitar or a ukulele? My ukulele! Someone stole it from me this morning. Hmm, Sherlock, the weapon used belongs to him. He must have knocked out the victim. What? No, no, it wasn't me. Hmm. Hey! Uh... Hold it. <laughs> I'm scared of heights. Put me down. <laughs> you seem pleased, Sherlock. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because now I know who the culprit is. <laughs> what about you, young detective? If you've paid close attention, I'm sure you can figure out who did it. So let's recap. Someone who couldn't stand the monkey singing climbed up the tree and hit him with the ukulele. The koala, the boa, and the beaver are the three suspects. But only one of them could have committed the crime. So can you guess who did it? <laughs> the case is simple. The clues in the interrogations have brought me to only one possible conclusion. Isn't that right, koala? Because the culprit is you! What? <gasps> yes. The beaver is scared of heights and can't climb up a tree. As for the boa, he has no arms. How could he possibly knock out someone? So you are the culprit. Wait, not so fast. You have no proof. No, but during your interrogation, you said the monkey had been knocked out with a ukulele. Only the culprit could have known that detail. I did it. It was me. 
but it's because I can't stand that terrible noise. And hard rock is just too awful. Come on, Koala. You don't solve problems by hitting each other. Hmm. I'm sorry. Hey! My ukulele! Sure, you're sorry, but your crime deserves to be punished. You'll get it as soon as the Howler Monkey is himself again. Do you prefer jeans, kilts, or Bavarian shorts? Uh, it's kilts. Do you prefer A, banging, B, picking, C, blowing? Uh, blowing. All right, C. And last question. Do you prefer haunted castles, pyramids, or Greek temples? Haunted castles. Perfect. All right, now for the results of the test. Hmm, you have 14 little stars. Your ideal instrument is... <gasps> <gasps> it's the bagpipes! Oh, yes! I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> That noise protection wall coming along. Uh, I've got about a foot done. Oh, only about 15 more feet to go. Take it easy. Mm. Oh. Put your head up your oh. pillow if you don't like it too 